Irony by Get to Her Heart. Chapter 2 The weekend passed all too quickly, and I frowned as I entered Wings High on Monday. I had spent all weekend at my grandma's, reading and enjoying a peaceful, quiet environment, such a contrast to the stupid school where, as soon as I walked in the doors, I was shoved out of the way, and not long after, someone threw a paper ball at my face, hitting bullseye. I almost didn't want to go to my locker and just be tardy to class, but in the end, I decided maybe my good locker neighbor might be having a hard time. Nope, just so say who and waiting to make my morning worse than it already was. Good morning, ugly, he greeted me, leaning against his locker which was so conveniently placed next to mine. That may or may not have been the main reason he liked to bully me. I ignored him and sorted my books, setting my phone inside the locker while I did so. Excuse me if I'm wrong, Sayun continued, but you seem to have forgotten your place in the food chain in this school while you were away. No? I bit my tongue, knowing better than to start something now. It was only morning, and he would be here all day if I gave him a reason. I kept silent, pretending to continue sorting my books, when I was really trying to figure out the perfect moment to bolt. Sehun sucked air in through his teeth. Okay, I'll keep talking. See, for this past week, you've been back-talking and acting like it's perfectly fine to show your face around this school, when we both know it's not, he said, resting his head on the locker and watching me. I took a deep breath, trying to control my temper and mouth. I wanted to scream all kinds of profanities at him, but it was useless. I only grabbed my books and slammed my locker, causing him to blink. Without further ado, I started to leave, only to be grabbed tightly by the arm. Don't forget your place, Choyuni, he said to my back. I didn't reply, instead jerking my arm in an attempt to free it. He only held tighter, still having more to say. Or I'll be forced to remind you again. He released me. Hesitantly, I moved, both stunned by his words and unsure he would actually let me leave. But then I quickly scurried to my classroom, heaving a sigh of relief that I would have several hours before I had to see him again. Throughout class, I thought of my actions like I had been scolded. Had I really been acting like he said? Last Friday was a bit worse than I have ever been in two years, but apparently I was ticking Mr. Osehun off a bit too much. Last time I had to be reminded of my place at the bottom of the school's food chain, I had been publicly humiliated at one of the soccer games. Sehun and his friends had felt proud of themselves for managing to turn the whole school against me. I thought being bullied by Sehun and his friends alone was something. But I hadn't realized how much damage some fangirls and a few stupid guys looking to display their masculinity could amplify those bullies. Since then, I would felt like I had a piano hanging over my head, threatening to fall and finish me off any time now. I couldn't walk in or out of the school without someone trying to shove me or call me a name or just to remind me of how ugly I was. By the time break rolled around, I decided that I would keep my mouth shut and stay out of Osehun's way until he graduated next year. Fighting. But God just really wanted to test my patience when I arrived to the canteen. Without even breaking the conversation he was having, Tao pulled me away from the line so that he and his friends were ahead. None of them even turned and looked. They just kept talking and continued to get their food. I sighed, figuring there was only him and Luhan and Kai, so it was okay. But just as I was about to grab my tray, someone pulled me back by my arm. Remember what I said this morning, Choi Yun-hee, Sehun said. It wasn't even a question. He was telling me. I tried to kill him with my eyes as he smirked down at me, but he only chuckled and pulled his girlfriend and her friends in line ahead of me. And it was like some signal went off, and before I knew it, everyone in line had shoved past me until I was the very last. Giving up, I turned and left the canteen, disgruntled because I wouldn't get to eat until I got home later. I haven't even eaten breakfast that morning, because I'd wanted to hurry and get my things from my locker before anyone got there. Clearly, that hadn't worked out. I sat down on the floor in front of my locker, crossing my legs in front of me. Thinking about all the delicious food I could be eating right then made my stomach growl and I frowned. Stupid Osehun, couldn't he just grow up and leave me alone? 
Give me a break when I haven't even done anything to you. Not eating? I jumped at the voice and looked up, expecting Sehun or some friend of his, only to find a friendly face staring down at me. I gave a weak smile and shook my head. It was the kid whose scarf had gotten taken the day before. I wanted to say his name was Kim Taehyung, and he had food. I don't have much, but I'll share, he said, staring down at the mandu he had in his hands. I quickly shook my head. You don't have to, I told him, even though I really wanted him to. Kim Taehyung, right? I asked as he offered himself a seat next to me. He nodded and gave me a dumpling. Cho yun he Yes, I nodded in response. I usually bring my own lunch. I can bring more if you would like, since Sun Bainim gives you a hard time in the canteen, he said. He must have seen what happened in the canteen just before. I chuckled. Why do you address them all so formally? I asked. Not even I gave Sehun the satisfaction of being called Sun Bae by me. That was probably one reason he hated me so much. I never respected him. I believe respect had to be earned. Taehyung looked at me like I was crazy. There are some bays, he stated, like I had lost my mind. But they're jerks, especially Yosehun, I said with a shrug as I chewed on the delicious food. Did you cook this? I asked, staring at the beautiful piece of food. He shook his head. My mom did, he admitted sheepishly. I hummed, taking another bite. Tell her she's an amazing cook, I told him, leaning back onto the lockers behind us. For the rest of the lunch period, Taehyung and I ate in pretty much silence. The kid had a nice presence and good food, so who was I to object? When the bell rang, we both hurried off to our classes. Sadly, his were with all of the idiots. Finally, the school day ended, and I began to make my way homewards. I didn't see Taehyung before I left, nor anyone else for that matter. I did see Sehun leaving with Taehyung like usual, but that was it. I hungrily headed home and raided the fridge. Cho yun are you a cave woman? My dad asked upon entering the kitchen. I'm starving, I said with a mouth full of ham. Kicking the fridge shut, I headed to my room. He gave me a blank look as I passed him. I grinned and kept walking, passing my sister's room, once upstairs and rolling my eyes at her blasting music. For someone who fussed that she needed to study so much, she sure loved to make a lot of noise. Oh, but if I so much as yawned, I got yelled at and my parents say they don't play favorites. I felt bullied even at home. I shut my door and piled all my food onto the desk before grabbing my iPod and stuffing my headphones into my ears. Immediately, my sister's music was blocked out by my own. I grabbed some food and went to sit by my window in my armchair. It was only Monday. <laughs> Yeah.